Right, question 11. So the population pyramid below shows information, number of drivers in thousands um, of drivers of each gender who made car insurance claims and it's in the UK in 2015. So it's only for one year, it's only in the UK and this is only car insurance claims as well. How many male drivers aged 60 69 in the UK in that year made car insurance claims? So 60 69, we're just reading off the graph, and that is 9,000. 1,000 is already there, so make sure you are just putting 9 there. The population pyramid uh, shows that the age group which has the greatest number of drivers who made car insurance claims is the 20 to 29 age group. Suggest so a reason why this uh, should be so. Simply put here, uh, this age group is less experienced at driving, therefore more likely to have accidents. And that's all we need to say there. C, in 2014, so a different year now, the number of female drivers aged 20 to 49 in the UK who made car insurance claims was this amount. Compare the number of female drivers aged that in the UK who made car insurance claims in that year with the number aged 20 to 49 who made car insurance claims in 2015. So we're comparing this 48,700 to our numbers up here. You must show your workings, three marks, and the workings will get us some marks on this. So 2015, which is the year we've got up here, we want uh, 20 to 29, so we want this bar. We want all the way up to 49. So it's these three bars that we need to add together. This first bar here, that comes up to 16, so that's 16,000. The next one is roughly 14. And then the next one is 13.5. So what I need to do is add these totals together to see what was the total for this age group 20 to 49 in 2015. So it is 13.5 plus 14 plus 16 is equal to 20, 30, 43 and a half thousand. That was 2015, 2014 was 48,700. So what we would conclude with then, um, and it did say compare, so we do need to state something, so state a conclusion on it. What we would say is the number of claims has decreased in this age group from 2014 to 2015 and we've got our numbers here to back it up and show next one the viva insurance company charges young male drivers more for car insurance than it charges all other drivers explain two features of the population pyramid we have here which Viva might use so they can justify its decision. So part D, what we can see here, and again, we need two points on this, two marks. So we could say that the bars are longer for male drivers as opposed to female drivers. And the second point we could say is, so it's young male drivers. I've mentioned the male bit. So what we could say then is, the bars. Notice that as people get older, they make less claims. So what we could say is, the bars get shorter as people get older.
don't read too much into these small bars for the 17 to 19 year olds what you'll find there is that there's very little 17 to 19 year olds who actually drive therefore those numbers will be small whereas most people in their 20s and 30s they do drive they've passed their test now they can afford to have a car etc but not that many people who are 17 to 19 have their own car jocelyn says the population pyramid shows that the number of female drivers in the uk in 2015 is less than the total number of male drivers in the uk in 2015 we need to explain whether or not jocelyn's conclusion is appropriate questions like this where you need to be careful this is almost to try and trick you see if you've understood uh, what the data is telling you and what the data is about if we remind ourselves the data is about car insurance claims so explain whether or not Johnson's conclusion is appropriate it is not appropriate because the data only represents those people making claims so there could be a lot more people who don't make claims so that would change the skew in terms of female drivers uh, to male drivers etc so this only represents those making claims it doesn't represent the total population of drivers lastly Veronica says in the UK in 2019 there will be fewer fam sorry fewer female drivers who make car insurance claims than male drivers who make car claims explain whether or not the information in the population pyramid can be used to support veronica's statement so she's saying that because in 2015 female drivers were um, made a lot less claims that will be the same in 2019 so i would say this is incorrect because the data is for only one year and it is a four year gap so if we had the information for say 2013 2014 15 and it looked like there was a trend happening there we could then make some uh, conclusions or predictions about 2016 because we had enough data and there's a trend to go off of but when it's for only one year and as well as that there's a four-year gap a lot can happen in four years that would change that and would make our predictions inaccurate